Hi everyone, in this video tutorial we will take a look on how to import and modify an STL or OBJ file into Microsoft 3D Builder. First of all, let's take a look on how we can obtain an STL or an OBJ file. Basically, we could model it in another program, but also by accessing various 3D printing and 3D modeling community, you can download for free a very large number of pre-made models. As an example, today we will take a look on how to download an STL or OBJ file from the Thingiverse community. To access it, it's very easy. The first link on the Google search for Thingiverse will bring you to the site. So let's click. And once the page is loaded, we just need to search and find the file we want to download. As an example, today I will download this file that is available at the link in the description that I published on the site myself, but you can follow the guide with the project or the file you prefer. To download it, it's very easy. We just need to scroll to files and click the download icon. This will add it to our download folder. So back to the program. As always, to start, let's click on new scene and to add our STL or OBJ file in this case an STL, we just need to click insert, head, and here we have various options. We can always add an object from the 3D library of Microsoft 3D Builder, but today we will dive in how to modify one of our pre-made model. To do this, let's click on load object. This will open our file manager. Here we are in the download management. We click on the file we just downloaded and we click open. This will bring our object to our workspace. As you can see here, we can choose which kind of unit the file is based on. In this case, millimeter, but we can change it to centimeter and make it very bigger or even meters or nanometers. In this case, let's stick with millimeters. Once the model is loaded, it's very easy to modify it. In fact, we can treat it just like a basic shape that we have created in, within the program. In fact, if we want to maybe cut a hole into it, we just need to select a cylinder, place it here, maybe dimension it. Rotate it. Move it where we want to cut the hole. By going into the Edit tab and clicking Subtract, we will subtract our cylinder from our object. This is useful not only to uh, slightly modify the object we will download from the internet, but also to dimension it in a very easy and straightforward way, but also to slightly customize it to suit our needs. As another example, we could emboss this object, this by just clicking the emboss tool, maybe choosing a shape, positioning the shape where we want it to be resigned, scale it to our preferences, choosing a color, maybe a red, and clicking emboss. As you can see, the shape is embossed into our imported STL. To save our project is very easy. We just need to go here, save as, giving it a name, maybe tray, and save it. For this short video tutorial, that's all. For more videos like this, follow JBDTube.